don't suck that bad at super guarding. Eh, whatever. Uh, Kiss Thief, she can steal enemies, items, or badges. Uh, unfortunately, that one doesn't have anything. Uh, we have the T's. We have T's here. Let's see. Hold and release really to fill the gauge. Don't let it overflow. All right. You can't let the gauge overflow. You got to keep it in the uh, top bar, though. Here we go. And she shadow clone jutsu. All right. Tax might miss. Not bad. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. This thing is apparently the leader of all these spinning weird papery board enemies. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, not bad. Four out of five missed. Whatever. I'm actually gonna cut the rest of this fight. There really isn't much worth showing. And you get a defend plus badge for that. And this shine sprite right up here, I honestly don't think you can get this one yet. I think that you have to wait to get another power up, which we will be getting very soon. I'll get it on the way back, though. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna head back now. Now, if you take that pipe that Flurry uncovered that we skipped earlier, it's a shortcut to the Pit of a Hundred Trials room. And in here, of course, right near it is the Thousand Year Door. So let's go ahead and. Hold the loft a star! Yeah, and we're holding the loft the map. That map has been held aloft enough times for its lifetime. Whatever. Nice. Alright. Come on. We've seen the same animation five times now. Can we please just be spared a little bit next time? Please. I want to see original I want to see original animations next time. Come on. I, I know I'm sounding very demanding though, but still, I mean come on. Alright, let's see what we got now. Where is the next star going to be located? The White House? Ah, whatever. We'll find out, sure enough, where that is, though, because the professor knows everything, and he can tell us anything. Okay. Oh, yeah. Great news, my friends! The next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights! Alright. Oh man, are there oodles of rich and famous people living in that place? How would you know? You've never even heard of it before in your young life. Yes, yes, I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Uh, Glitzville was a tourist attraction. Get to the point, Prof. How do we get to the Snobville anyway? That's the best part. You ride the most fabulous train of all, the Excess Express. Excess? Uh, yes, after a luxury steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been backbreaking work, but this one will be a cinch. Hey, I heard you had to be rich or famous to get a ticket for that train. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianza for help with this, too. Are you crazy? I heard stories about that guy, and he sounds like a loon. At least they didn't make the mistake of saying that guy was held to deal with last time. Man, well, whatever. I guess if we gotta... We gotta, we gotta, right? Let's do this, Gonzalez. Excellent, now we're set. Now, we may not have much time left. So, you must hurry. Alright, fine. We're gonna head to Poshley Sanctum, actually. Um, real quick, a couple of things. Uh, we got Merlin standing outside of his house now. He's like, oh, alright, let's see. Da -da -da. What has he got? Okay. No, thusly, in the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. Alright, fine. Okay, I actually did quite a bit of stuff off screen. I didn't really make it clear that I was going to be cutting right there, though, but anyway. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, that thing that Merlin was telling us about, um, is the, uh, there's an... Okay, you have to go back to Hookdale Castle, go back to that room where the spikes tried to crush you when we were there before. Uh, use Bobbery to blow up the wall that you can now, uh, destroy. And then when you do that... Um, you're going to basically uh, get an item called an up arrow. Take that back to Merlin, and he will get you the Ultra Stone. The Ultra Stone will allow you to upgrade party members twice. As you can see right here, I've already gone and upgraded a couple of my party members twice. You'll see two Shine Sprite icons next to them now. I would say Vivian or Bobbery would be your best bet uh, with upgrades. Bobbery, because he has the most HP of any party member. Vivian, just, you know, to get her fire attacks powered up a little bit more, because she's really helpful for diagonal enemies. As a second priority, I would say Scrap. 
or Yoshi or whatever whatever you call your Yoshi. But that's just me. Uh, so anyway, um, also another thing I might uh, like to point out, I forgot. Um, as you well, you can't really see it now though, but I actually have two pages of items now. You can actually double your item storage by going to that area I was telling you about, the Pit of 100 Trials, and getting to the 50th floor. By now, you should be able to breeze right through it and get to the 50th floor, though, so if you want to double your item storage, that's a way to do it. And I already showed you where the Pit of 100 Trials is last part, though, so you can use that for reference. I just went ahead and off-screen that, though, because it'd be repetitive just to see me do 50 floors over and over again for a video. But yeah. Anyway, they told us to go to Don Piantas. Whoa! Fred just got with us. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with the loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Oh, uh, underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems. What can we do for use? What? Tickets for the Rizzia train around. The Exus Express. Whoa, you want tickets for that ruling wingding? Wingding? That's a font. Alright, so... Alright. Francesca! I like how he's blue. Okay, fine. Alright, so, yes. We saw them on Keel Hall Key. Yes, we saw them at Keel Hall Key. Alright. <laughs> I swear to you, if you're a lion, it would turn you into a confetti, so I'd be... <laughs> Alright, so we bring her back. If we bring her back, they'll get us the train tickets. Alright, so we need to go to Keel Hall Key now. Uh, simply, just go back to the Roadport Harbor and talk to Cortez. Alright, we're heading back now. I like how they just disintegrate into the ship, like, you know, when you're going. Uh, something I like to mention is remember that guy who sells the really expensive items in Roadport where I kept buying the boo sheets from? He has a badge called the W Emblem, and I actually purchased that while off screen. Nah, sorry, burps. <laughs> while off screen. It costs 360 coins, though. It's just a cosmetic change badge, though, so you really don't need it. I just got it, you know, for style points, I guess. Because uh, I kind of like it. Ba I'll show you what it does here in a moment. Come on, just go faster. Does it really take a whole 24 hours to go to Keel Hall Key? You know, we only have until the end of the year before the Thousand Year Door opens and the Cataclysm set forth once again. I don't think we have time to wait entire days to get to the island. Uh, anyway, that W Emblem badge, let me just go ahead and show what it does. Um, it costs zero BP to equip. Check it out. We look like Wario now! Um, by the way, also, that star piece that I missed, it's actually right there. Thanks to everybody who sent that in. Honestly, I'm sorry if I didn't reply to you, though, but I got so many messages telling me where it was, and also a couple of video responses. That was awesome of you guys to help out where you could. Uh, let's see here. Okay, fine. They was looking for something. Alright, well, guess where you gotta go. Think about where you had to backtrack all the time on Keel Hall Key. Yep, you got that right. We're going through the jungle. Here we go, we found him. Alright, let's, let's see what we got. I like how they... Bobbery's almost in the water. What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And in a time like this... <laughs> what do we got? You see, I... I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. it must be somewhere around here in that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or, maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. <laughs> That's a horrible thing. <laughs> anyway, sweet tag now, you're gonna have to say that you love me 100 times. 100 times! You love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. He always calls her food, bacon burger. That's the worst thing you can call a girl. That'd be calling a girl boulder, but... No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, fine, you crazy dame. <laughs> I know what you mean. There, I said it. <laughs> Aww, such a silly Billy. So he can't call you a bacon burger, but you can call him a silly Billy. Alright, fine. Girl calls the shots. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to go find their ring now. Guess where it is? And if you guessed it was right over by the Skull Rock, you'd be right. That is where it is, the wedding ring.